Hey guys, so in Jamaica, when you are taking public transportation, especially one of those minibuses, and especially if you are a female, the conductor will always tell you to smile up yourself. So basically, just squeeze in so that they can fit in the most passengers to maximize their money with no consideration of your comfort at all. And I think that is a mentality actually that a lot of us carry around. We small up ourselves. All along, I've been calling my projects. Oh, I'm doing this little thing on YouTube or you know, I'm just writing this little book or I'm just in the studio recording this little song. All along, I've been smiling at myself and it reminded me of this scripture in Matthew chapter 5 verses 14 to 16 and it says you are the light of the world a city on a hill cannot be hidden neither do people light a lamp and put it under a bowl instead they put it on its stand and it gives light to everyone in the house in the same way let your light shine before men that they may see your good deeds and praise your father in heaven so my encouragement to you today, as well as myself, and please keep me accountable, do not small up yourself. We do that at the discomfort of ourselves and our purpose and our destiny. And God did not put us on earth to be salt and light, to just small up the salt and small up the light. Let us allow God to put us on a stand and to be a city on a hill to give light to this world because this world, is dying and this world is facing a lot of struggles especially right now and you have the answer you have something that you can give to someone else that no one else can impact in that way you have that power you have that position and when you small up yourself you are doing a disservice to that person as well as to yourself to your talents to everything that the Lord has poured in you do not small up yourself do not say oh this is my little business Business, or yeah I just like to bake you know but it's no big deal there are persons who you will make their day their week their year you will probably be the changing force to drive out a suicidal thought by offering them a cupcake at the right moment or a hug or just send them a text message to say hey you know you crossed my mind is there anything that I can pray for you for like you don't have to be a millionaire and if we are waiting to be millionaires to impact the world like in the meantime we're doing ourselves and everyone else a disservice and let us critically think about who are we smiling up ourselves to advantage at our disadvantage right so who would be the conductor of this minibus that we have to squeeze to get profits for which we don't benefit from could it be that those thoughts of fear and doubt that are causing us to small up ourselves, it's really conducted by the prince of the air, the ruler of this world, Satan himself, who is encouraging us to cover our light, to not be a city on a hill, to not really share our gifts and talents with as many people as we can, not reach out to as many people as we can, not influence as many people as we can. And I mean, is that why the church is no longer a relevant voice in many spheres of society? Is that why so many people do not look at the church anymore for answers or guidance or wisdom? If we believe that the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom, then why are we smiling up ourselves? And I would like to, at this point, refer us all back to that video that I did on identity and I still have it on my mirror, those 12 things, and I say that almost every day. We are royal priests, we're hidden with Christ, we're made in God's image, we're wonderfully made, all of these things. So if we really believe that, why are we smiling up ourselves? Guys, be encouraged, be blessed, and don't smile up yourself. I think there's a new puppy next door and my dogs are getting to meet this puppy. We'll just have to continue because this might take a while. My personal projects. Some years ago, there were two white tourists who came to Jamaica and they had this minibus experience and they actually wrote a song that became a very popular song in Jamaican culture. You can look it up on YouTube. Two white girls 
pon p o n a minibus and it just details their experience which is quite colorful and hilarious so you go to what's an experience this is for us two white girls on a minibus all along i've been color.